we are delivering a horizontal platform which can be used in a variety of use cases. Some of the apps actually in market today using the Context SDK are gaming applications like Bug Hunt, uh, Speak to It's uh, Voice Personal Assistant. Uh, we actually have an online video that shows off this capability. A recommendation system uh, that does location aware recommendations. Fitness and biosensing apps and device personalization applications. All of these prove that we are providing a platform that can be used in many different application scenarios. Here's one example of a scenario that we've heard from our developers and that demonstrate why we are going cross-platform, not just Android, but Windows and soon iOS. If I'm a developer, and I have a user who uses multiple different device classes. This user might start at work on a laptop, and then when they leave work, they travel with a phone. That's a contextual switch. And as a developer, I can see what my user is doing. Then when they get back home, they switch back to the laptop, but eventually that laptop changes state. It disconnects from one wireless network and connects to another. I can sense that change and know that this pattern goes from work to traveling with a phone to disconnecting from the work wireless to closing the laptop. I know when this user closes the laptop that he's going to pick up this tablet and will be interested in some content. If I'm a Disney developer, I might give him something related to a Marvel property. So being able to anticipate that moment of media readiness is the key for many of our developers. Another example of how we're getting information into the system that's valuable to developers is getting physical activity off of wearable devices. So we have an SDK that allows wearable sensors to sync information into a tablet or phone via Bluetooth and our SDK is capable of supporting this on Android today and uh, can serve as a digital hub. What we're releasing today is our Windows SDK that also can sync information from wearables and can provide a multi-platform scenario for contextual information. This data, of course, can be stored in your own private cloud instance. We'll create this cloud support this for you, but it's your data and you do the processing and analysis of your own users. Intel does not own your data. And then that information is synced via secure means uh, back and forth between the tablets and the wearable devices up to your cloud instance. And in the cloud, Nafisa can explain uh, what value we add to make your application smarter. Now, Nafisa talked about the rules engine. That rules engine allows you to provide recommendations back to a wearable device or a phone or a tablet um, so that if you are that Disney developer or Warner Brothers developer, you can target the right recommendation or the right media at the right time and date and the right location. So let's look at what this looks like in the real world. We've talked currently about slides and images. Let me show you something real. This is a window into the data that is stored in the cloud. This is an instance of the cloud that we have access to. For most developers, we won't have access and we don't want access to your data. But this data, we, we sourced ourselves. So this is just going to be a little dashboard that shows you what's up in the cloud. So this dashboard shows all sorts of information, including location and weather and network and uh, sensors on device. Here's a drill in on some of the sensors. So this is a device profile. This is a background audio and all the device sensors that we can get. All of this data is sourced from any device that the user has agreed to share information from. So here's multiple devices that are associated with that one that one user. 
and I can select an individual device and see the data about that device. I can also run searches on uh, uh, cloud services that we have access to for 100 million points of interest, for weather, for global traffic and routing. So here I can grab information on local coffee shops, but all this data is your data. This is not something owned by Google or Facebook. This is data that Intel sources and gives directly to you as the developer. So now let's uh, walk through the rules engine and Nafisa can show us the rules engine and uh, more details on the dashboard information. Again, this is a view into the cloud. Nafisa does the rules engine, does the predictive model, Thanks, Nafisa. So this is the Android SDK that's out in market, uh, available for Android 2.2 through Android M. Note that this works on any class of Android device. This does not have to be an Intel device. We've optimized it for Intel, but it will work anywhere. And then we're releasing today the Windows SDK. You can sign up to get it. This works for Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. Uh, we've done initial integration with RealSense, so if you've seen some of those cool RealSense demos, you can take a look at that uh, and make those uh, RealSense usages contextually aware. Uh, we can also do things uh, regarding 2-in-1, understanding if you're in slate mode or if you're docked or in keyboard mode. Uh, and then we have people who have already released apps and code that you can use based on this platform. Let's look at some. First, the ASUS Zen phone that uses the Zen Motion UI leverages the context sensing SDK. All of the Zen Motion capabilities are powered by the Zen Motion by the context SDK, and that's on millions of units already in market. Uh, Unity uh, is the leading. 3D gaming platform. And uh, there's a third party group that has already released a plugin between Unity and the Context SDK. And you can get this today as well. Uh, this allows any game developer to make your game contextually aware. Uh, one example is Bug Hunt. This is a game that was released by leading Android developer Bearded Eye. This is live in market. You can get it today. It's augmented reality and contextually aware gaming. Uh, Fitness IQ is released by a company called Inventive Mobile. This leverages the context SDK uh, for health usages. This is a great app. I encourage you to get it. Finally, if you're interested in more amazing SDKs like the context SDK, you can get it at the Intel SDK Zone. Uh, right here, here's the URL. You can get SDKs, APIs, documentation in multiple languages across platforms. So thank you so much uh, for listening to our presentation about the Context SDK. We'll look forward to your questions.